or the person who with his tireless efforts constructs huge edifices, factories, roads and does all the agricultural work. The development of a country can't be envisaged without the labour force. So let's come and talk about the healthy and prospering labour class of a developed India. Earlier, the labourers faced many kinds of economic and social problems. For instance, not earning regular and adequate income, lack of health and social security services and insufficient employment opportunities, etc. For the labour class, grappling with these problems with new plans and hopes has come the Ministry of Labour and Employment. Is baat mein koi duvida nahi hai. इस बात में कोई मत मतांतर नहीं है कि राष्ट्र के निर्माण में श्रमिक का कितना बड़ा योगदान होता है चाहे वो किसान हो मजदूर हो वो अनऑर्गेनाइज लेबर का हिस्सा हो और हमारे यहां तो सदियों से इन सबको एक शब्द से जाना जाता है विश्वकर्मा विश्वकर्मा के रूप में जिसको जाना जाता है माना जाता है और इसलिए अगर श्रमिक रहेगा दुखी तो देश कैसे होगा सुखी Following this vision of the Prime Minister, the Ministry of Labour and Employment increased the minimum wages by an unprecedented 42%. With this increase in minimum wages, 55 lakh workers have directly benefited. The eligibility limit of payment of bonus too has been increased from Rs 10,000 to Rs 21,000. The minimum pension of EPF members has too been raised to Rs 1000 to secure the future of the workers. Under the EPFO, the UAN or the Universal Account Number has been made mandatory through which the workers get a permanent identity and in contingent situations, their money is directly tagged to their accounts. Today, the count of the beneficiaries stands at 13 crores. The government has made most of the EPFO facilities available online and linked the accounts with Aadhaar so that while withdrawing the money, workers are not mandatorily required to produce any documents. A lot of benefits has especially accrued from online claim settlement. Services of the EPF have also been made available on the Umang app also for the benefit of the members. Under the Employees Deposit Linked Insurance Scheme 1976, the benefit given to a worker upon his death has been raised to Rs 6 lakhs. EPFO gives the best interest rate of 8.55% to its members. The administrative surcharge given by the employer too has been reduced from 1.10% to 0.5%. Owing to the benefits being given by the organization to its members, the strength of members has risen from 3 crores 25 lakhs to 4 crores 75 lakhs in 4 years. The eligibility of workers has been increased from Rs 15,000 to Rs 21,000 by ESIC. During the past four years, the number of insured people has gone up to 3 crores and that of the beneficiaries approximately 12 crores. The ESIC is working to reach its services in all the 694 districts in the country as early as possible. ESIC and EPFO have jointly taken their member strength to more than 1 crore in the past four years. Under the Gratuity Act, the maximum limit has been doubled from 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs. Under the Prime Minister Employment Promotion Scheme, started in 2016, the contributory 12% EPF given by the employer is now made by the government. 
by the implementation of this scheme, there's a likelihood of the creation of one crore new jobs. Under this scheme, 725 crores has been paid by the government till now, benefiting 40 lakh employees of 50,000 organizations, out of which 86% beneficiaries are of less than 35 years of age. Apart from this, the government has given approval to fixed term employment in all sectors. More than 4 crore applicants and 14.8 lakh organizations have been brought on a single platform through the National Carrier Service Portal with the objective of more employment. Considering the problems of female workers, the maternity leave has been extended from 12 weeks to 26 weeks so that the mothers and newborns get full health benefits. For achieving complete abolition of child labour, there's a blanket ban now on making children under 14 work and to enable better implementation of this objective, an online portal called Pencil has been launched. Keeping the interest of the labour class and other worker groups, the steps taken by the Ministry of Labour and Employment, Government of India, have enabled giving a new direction to the lives of labourers. Only a contented and a prosperous labour class can build a new India. Nation on the path of development.